So, apparently standalone e-readers are not dead and they're coming back from a very unlikely company. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and I do a lot of reading. You, you might have noticed the bookshelf back there. there it's a, well, that shelf has all Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling books and The Hobbit. So, I love reading and when I'm down editing, I'm typically reading something while the videos are processing. I, I just love it. But reading's an interesting, I'm in a little interesting of a dilemma with my reading habit right now. Because I am a big believer in physical media. I love physical media. And yet, the problem with physical media, as you probably figured out, is space. Space is becoming a bigger and bigger issue, especially when it comes to movies. Like, I finally took a bunch of movies that I had digital copies of, took them off the shelf, put them in a box... And they're going to storage until I figure out what to do with them. At one point, I might have to go through those movies and decide that there are some movies I just simply will never watch again. Books also are another fun thing because I love... I'm going to go off screen for a moment because this was a little unplanned. I like reading manga. Uh, this is what I'm reading. One of the mangas I'm reading right now. It's a classic series. I'm just getting around to reading it. And I want to own it physically because, you know, manga especially goes out of print. So when it goes out of print, you can't buy it either digitally or physically, and your digital copy has the risk of going away. And yet, when you buy just a couple books, you can already see what the problem is. This is going to take up a lot of shelf space, shelf space I might not have. And not only is shelf space an issue, but honestly, ebooks, e-readers, they're comfortable. I actually do have a Kindle, and this is a Barnes & Noble Nook tablet. And they are different, and yet they are somehow both comfortable at reading books. And I do want to eventually get... the. I want to trade this thing in and get the huge 10-inch screen um, Barnes & Noble ebook reader for my comics and stuff. And I also want to get the glow light for the textbooks for, like, long travels and stuff like that. It seems like I will be waiting to do that for a little while, though, because, amazingly, the Barnes & Noble Nook Glow Light Plus 7.8 is sold out. This comes from Good E-Reader, which is a site that I don't talk about much, but, you know, we might be quoting more stories from them as I continue to branch out the channel to other topics. And this surprised me greatly. It says, Barnes & Noble, this is a Barnes & Noble product, by the way, folks, like, they're... And Barnes & Noble's struggling. I, For the record, I am invested in Barnes & Noble. I do have stock cause, just because I love the company. That's a vanity stock, as they call it. So I should just make that known up front. But Barnes & Noble launched the Nook Glow Light Plus 7.8-inch e-reader online yesterday, and it is already sold out. The e-reader continues to be available in all 600 retail locations, but many people have stated that there is little stock remaining. The Nook being sold out can be attributed to two different reasons. When the e-reader hit store shelves on Monday, I have heard over two dozen reports that there was a dead pixel on the screen, leading me to believe that there might have been a quality control issue with the first batch of units. Which, by the way, is not uncommon. Any major device that gets released typically has a defect in the first batch of products. That's usually why they say don't buy it on day one, whether it be an iPhone, a tablet, or an e-reader. The other factor leading to stock shortages is that Barnes & Noble simply did not realize how popular this reader would be with their customers. Each store was only allocated a certain number of launch day units, somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 per store, and more if it was serving a huge urban population. I believe that it is a combination of both these reasons, dead pixels on a certain number of units that could be identified by serial numbers, so Barnes & Noble took them off the market, and the unanticipated demand, because the e-reader is the first time the book seller decided to forego a 6-inch screen and went with a 7.8-inch display. Which, you know, because that's, by the way, another problem with this is like, I mean, I they're fairly decent-sized screens, but they are small, and that's why I'm looking forward to getting that 10-inch uh, Barnes & Noble Nook tablet thing, because I, I simply want a bigger screen. I mean, yeah, you can make the text bigger if you want, however, that's, you know, not quite the same thing. It is also extremely affordable at $199, which is, by the way, one of the reasons it's on my wish list for, Chris, for Christmas. And I, I bet you there's going to be a 
I bet you there's going to be like a Black Friday sale. That's when I'll pick it up. No matter what the reason is, the Nook is officially sold out online after a single day of being available. If it is pure demand, this is really good news for the ailing Nook division and means that they have a really popular product on their hand. Go figure. And here's another thing that I think is happening. I think people, for lack of a better term, are getting a little tired of their phones being their main device. The, one of the problems with your phone being your all-in-all -all device is that you know, you're know you using Uber on it. You're shopping. You're browsing the internet. You're watching YouTube. You're playing Pokemon Go. And the battery gets drained and drained. And so at some point, you know, it's like, hey, I want to read something, and yet I my battery for the phone is not lasting however this thing the the charge lasts quite quite a while so you select something uh let's see here what do i want uh when worlds collide two 2d versus 3d oh yeah that was that was a book from someone i was uh written that i was talking to on christian mingle who didn't actually want to date believe it or not just wanted to be, be friends and so she wrote that bu book i got to the end as you can see Oh, that's good. That that's how we're gonna and that's how we're gonna end that one. So, you know, some people. Anyway, I was getting off top topic. So having an extra device just for the the books, the reading, is convenient because you don't have to use your phone's power. Having an MP3 player is convenient. So it's if it's at a right price and it's cute and it's big enough, then it, yeah, I could see this being a big thing. Now, of course, I would hope it's a big thing because I, I want Barnes & Noble to have a genuine hip. I don't want that store to go anywhere. I love it too much. It, but I, I'm i kind of optimistic that... Because here's the thing that some people don't understand. Just because we have smartphones and just because they've cut into pretty much every market, it doesn't mean there's, there's a dead market. I still have a game console. I won't give it up for a streaming box. I have an Apple TV. I have discs. And I have physical media. Now, again, the books are probably the first flag that I'm going to wave because with the exception of like Harry Potter and classic books, I usually read most books once. So I will probably start moving more towards digital books except for signed copies. By the way, ebooks are also a great way to protect your investment in signed books if you want to know. So this will definitely be a device that I want. And once it's back in stock, I will probably get it after the wedding, because, you know, that's coming out in 112 day days, got to save up for that. Any, by the way, you like, on a side note, you uh, like the stamp? That's a P.O. Box address, so I don't care. Like, I, I planning for the wedding has been fun, I have to say. Anyway, we're going to end it there. Nice that Barnes & Noble has, like, potentially a hit device on their hand. We could have talked about some Uber and Lyft stories today. I decided to save the vast majority of them for tomorrow. What do you folks think? Are you a paper book? Do you want to do ebooks? Do you have standalone devices? Do you want standalone devices? I'd love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as one dollar a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, check us out at the Entrepreneur Vlogs. It's a fairly new channel, but we're trying to upload new content on a daily basis. If gas prices are getting you down, check out the GetUpside app below. It's totally free, and you get cash back on every gas purchase. And if you want to talk to me or other fellow um, booktubers, I'm not really a booktuber, but I read books, so, you know. Check us out at the Entrepreneur Hangouts on Facebook. And as always, blame responsibly, and this is the end.